Betacom started when I was junior and senior at AUS. Now, crowdfunding has been around for the longest time ever in all countries, right? But there wasn't something here specifically also for real estate. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Springfield Talks. Today, we are going to be talking about crowdfunding in real estate. This is a very interesting topic where people can come together to buy a piece of real estate, and it reduces the barriers of entry into the real estate market. Today in our office, we have Latifa bin Haider, who is the founder and managing partner of Beitukum. It's one of only three regulated crowdfunding companies in the UAE, and the only one which is owned by an Emirati. Latifa Ben Heather has recently won the Real Estate Leader Award under the category of Women SME Leaders by MasterCard and Entrepreneur Magazine. And guys, that's not all. She is a fellow AUS alumni. She went to the same university that I went to, the American <laughs> University of Sharjah. And she's very young, and she started her entrepreneur journey very quickly. We are so happy to have you in our office, Latifa. Thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for coming here. Thank you so much for having me, Farooq. I'm so happy to be here. And we are excited to have you as well. Latifa, let's get straight into it. Tell us, how did the idea of Beitukum come to life? Beitukum started when I was a university student still. I was <laughs> a junior and senior at AUS. And uh, I heard about this type of regulation, this new activity that is now legal in the UAE. Now, crowdfunding has been around for the longest time ever in all countries, right? We heard of um, Kickstarter, crowdfund for companies, some new ideas, but there wasn't something here um, specifically also for real estate. And real estate is generally, as you already know, of course, something that is the traditional approach, right? Um, you, I want to get started. If I have smaller amounts, our tradition here says start with gold and yeah. then get into real estate later yeah. on. Um, so when I heard about this, I was like, okay, so this puts it in the same level as gold, kind of, the idea of crowdfunding or fractional ownership. So whatever budget that I have, I can own shares in a property or a fraction of the property. So that was very exciting. And I started by talking to my friends about it, asking them, hey, have you heard of this? Did you try something like this? Would you be interested? And, you know, one year later, um, I have already spoken to thousands of people to better understand why they haven't started investing in real estate, if this is something of their interest. And it got me very excited because now we're talking about enabling your everyday individual to start in real estate. Of course. You know, the usually... barriers of entry generally are so high exactly, in real estate. Exactly. And in crowdfunding, I believe you can start with just 5,000 dirhams? Yep, you can wow. start with 5,000 dirhams. So this is exactly the, the previously the misconception people had. In order to invest, which is such a big word for me right now, <laughs> um, I have to have millions of dirhams to get started. I have to be rich first. Yeah. But we say that, it starts by building your wealth slowly. Of so course. this is one of the options that you have available. So these are all the reasons that inspire me to start Betacom. And uh, yeah, this is where we are today. Betacom is regulated by the DFSA. And we already have over 2,000 users on our platform. Wow, 2,000 <laughs> users already. Yes, I'm very I mean, proud. Betacom has just taken off and it's mm -hmm. taken off very, very fast. And it's very exciting, a couple of things that you touched upon which is great for all the young people that are watching our show, is that you can get started with such a small amount. And generally what you said is that when people talk about real estate, you know, a lot of young people don't even think about real estate just because they feel like, oh, you know what, I need a few hundred thousand dirhams or at least mm -hmm. a million dirhams to even get started. So they never actually start thinking about or doing exactly. the research. It's such a long-term thing. And, and, and I like have to pay right so much in interest and exactly. all of those things just... They, they have like a million words. reasons yeah. ready, like that's why I cannot start, yeah. you know. And, and you touched upon something very exciting is that at least they will start to do their own research and they should start early and that's how they're going to build long-term wealth. Exactly. And I think that is such an important thing for all the youngsters out there to at least start doing their research, learn about real estate, the risks, the returns and what they can expect. 100%. So tell us, Latifa, how can someone watching the show get started with investing at Beitukum. So we have simplified it as much as possible for okay. our clients. All they have to do really is just download the app, Beitukum. 
create an account. So there are some documents that, that will be required, of course, because we're a regulated entity. So you'll have to provide, you know, like uh, your passport copy. If you're in the UAE, then your Emirates ID, proof of address, these basic things, basically. And then once you get verified, you become a member okay. uh, on the app and you have access to all the exclusive properties that we list for our clients. Um, just keep in mind, actually, we list less properties than the ones we actually view. So it's a very, um, it's already pre-vetted. We have to check if it's a good investment opportunity and we have a whole list that comes with it. Um, and then you just have to choose the property that you like, type in your budget and you're done. Everything else is done by us. The pre-work, so the vetting, finding the properties and then anything that comes after, like the purchase processes, um, you know, managing the investment operations. So working with the property managers and tenants and all of that distributing the rent all the way to selling the property. So everything from A to Z is done by us. All you have to do is go on the app, create an account, select the property, hit invest, and that's it. Wow. And you can download the app of the App Store? App Store and Google Play Store as well. It's called Baytukum, so B-A-Y-T-U-K-U-M. All right. We'll make sure to mention that on the description below as well. And are there any costs associated to becoming a member on the app? Uh, no, it's free of cost to create an account. So the for, for Betacom, the fees are at acquisition. So when we purchase the property, yes. you'll be able to see actually the breakdown in the property information. Okay. Um, so the Betacom fees is there and then also at exit when we sell the property. Okay. Are there any hidden fees and charges that investors should be aware about when purchasing the property of Betacom? Absolutely not. So as a regulated entity, we are also required to be extremely transparent about everything, including okay. all these costs. So when we list the property, it's just to give you a quick background, of course, they have to be ready and residential. So for example, we're not allowed to look into off-plan properties even because it's a huge risk and the DFSA um, is you know, one of the things that are absolutely necessary is security and, um, you know, as little risk as possible, especially for the retail or beginner investors, of right? So we have to have ready residential properties. Um, we vet them, we check everything in person. Um, if it meets the criteria that we have or we need, then it gets listed. So when we list this property, um, you see all the information that we even have on it. We have the Excel sheet that has all the math that we did on it valuation by a separate entity as well. Okay, so nice, nice. exactly. So when we list something, let's say it's priced at 500,000, for example, um, you can see the market value as well. It's either matching or below, uh, sorry, above. So we aim to list properties that are below the market value to get you, you know, a good the deal. Best deals. Exactly. Um, you have all this info, you have the cost breakdown. Um, how much is going to the seller? How much is going to Betacom? How much is going to um, the, the broker that we're working with? How much is going to, you know, all this is listed, the byland department fees, everything from the onset. Then you see the breakdown there associated with your shares and um, you'll be able to, to make an informed decision. Okay, very nice. What types of real estate properties are most attractive to investors within the crowdfunding space? So the, the ones who go for crowdfunding usually are ones who want to mitigate the risk or distribute it. So we, as an entity anyway, regulated entity, we only go for ready residential properties. So that's one thing. For example, they're not ready to get into off-plan properties. We're also not allowed to list any of those. Okay. So that's one thing. Another thing that we can do to meet them as much as possible at, at where they're at is make sure that we have mitigated the risk as much as possible. So apart from listing properties that are ready and residential, uh, we prefer, for example, if they're already tenanted, if not, it's, it's also a right. We also get property insurance after the property is fully funded. Okay. So that's another way to mitigate the risk. Uh, and all the investments go through the client money account. So it's separate account where all the money is held. So separate from our company. Okay. So they have this, you know what? What if your company goes bankrupt? Am I losing all my money? We're like, no, no, no. You're owning the properties directly. We're facilitating, but you're not investing in our company that owns them. You own them directly. So Betacom is a separate entity and the properties that you're buying is a completely separate entity where the money yes, goes to. Exactly. So you own the properties directly. We're just the facilitators in this. And then you give us basically authority to manage that entire journey on your behalf. 
Um, so as much as possible, usually the ones who go for crowdfunding like the, the ones with the least risk. Yeah. So they go, you know what, this is most of the time, they're first time investors. Like this okay. is my first time. I don't want to put too much money, but I'm also scared with this amount, where is it gonna go? So of we're course. like, okay. So we provide a lot of also education and hand-holding information step-by-step, step. this is how it goes. And then we tell them, these are all the assurances that we can provide you to make you even more comfortable to get started. So everyone who invests with you also goes through KYC AML checks. This is you know, a mandatory thing by the regulators. Um, so we know all our clients. We also manage everything on your behalf. So even if you don't have experience, you know, you're okay, we got you. Okay. Um, so as much as possible from our side, we mitigate the risks. There are things that we can't control, like the market prices. God forbid something like COVID hits again, prices go down. We of can't course. do anything I mean, about that. Uh, like exactly. There's no risk and return. Yeah. No, without yeah. risk, there's no return. So exactly. obviously we understand, but still real estate is always regarded as the least risky 100%. kind of investment that you can do. Even if you look at the chart, if you zoom out over time, you know, Real estate only goes upwards. Exactly. You know, if you look at a decade chart or a few few decades, real estate only goes upwards because they're not building any more land, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so tell us, Latifa, what kind of returns can investors expect from the real estate properties that you guys list at Baitakum? So we, on average, list properties that net 7% return. Okay. Uh, we aim not to list stuff that are lower because... Um, because when we look at the net, it's not just the net in the, in the market or like in the specific property. It's also a net with all the expenses that you pay to purchase the property. So we do all the math, extensive, all with all the expenses, and then we check the net. It's not just net with, you know, a rental income divided by the property, the price, maybe minus expenses, and that's it. No, no, no. It's all the other expenses, not just the ones related to the property, but the entire investment. So a net of 7%. Uh, and of course, higher, what we <laughs> find. <laughs> All right, very nice. And what kind of due diligence should investors perform before purchasing from Baitukum? So what we require usually, or what we ask our clients to do, is see all the information that we provide you regarding each listing. So before you even hit invest, you have all the information ready. So as I mentioned, we do the entire journey, right? So we do the vetting, we find those properties, like just last, just last month, I think we saw about 200 properties, only wow. two got listed. Like wow. that is how strict, oh, yes. That's how much due diligence you guys do. Yes. Very nice. So we search very well, then we provide you with these exclusive ones. So when we provide them, we actually put a lot of work into it. Okay. So I always say, read the information. We simplified as much as possible. We gave you all the math, all the numbers. Then you can take an informed decision. This will help you become a more experienced real estate investor. You don't have to have millions to become an expert. You can start with these small amounts and get all the information. Um, so we just ask you to do that, but um, we just have to know that we already performed our due diligence. We did everything we could to give you the best opportunities. And the rest is literally on us. The management of the entire operations is on us. Wow, sounds good. Um, Latifa, also tell us, now that I've bought something from Baitukum, mm-hmm. let's say I've bought 5,000 right. worth of, let's say, a property in downtown that you guys listed. Mm-hmm. Uh, three months later, I want to get out. What are the steps to exit from this investment? It's very simple. You just contact the team and you just say, I want to sell my shares in this property. We can facilitate and you can sell it to another investor, maybe in the same property or any client that we already have. Because okay. anyone, of course, has to be already a client, KYC checks, the whole thing. So you have to like right. sort of list those shares back on uh, the platform. Sometimes we have requests ready of people, if anyone wants to sell, yeah. I'm ready to buy right now. Oh, okay. So we already have those. Like Again, we just facilitate the thing. And then we just um, change the owners and, and the deal is done. Sometimes um, uh, people, after we inform them, like these are the steps, or uh, they go like, you know what, never mind. I think I'll just stay until, until you sell the property because I, I want to profit as much as possible from capital gains. But you have this option. Okay. Um, and you're the one who set the price. I mean, I don't think we need to include that, but I'm just, you can you can set the price. Like I bought it for 10,000. Um, after two years, I'd like to sell it for maybe 14,000, 15,000. Oh, so the investor gets to set the price. Yeah, you set the price. Okay. We announce it to whoever the investors are, a client base, and then they can decide they want to buy, we swap shares, we're done. 
Oh, and the best part is that we don't have to change the owners on the title deed, which okay. is costly. We just change it on the DIFC portal where we have all our investors listed as owners. Wow, so you don't have to do the 4% cost. Very, exactly. Wow. Very minimal fees. So that's actually a very attractive thing that if you want to exit out mm -hmm. of this investment, you don't need to pay the 4%. You don't need to you know, find a broker like us exactly. to do the entire transaction. You can just go on the portal of Baytocom or go on the app of Baytocom and request for an exchange. Exactly. Okay. Um, also tell us a little bit more about um, the user friendliness of Baytocom as an app. You know, um, how has the customer journey been mm -hmm. for the people that have invested on right now? Um, you know, what kind of returns have they seen? Uh, what was the response from people? Yeah. So that's a very interesting story. Um, it took us two years to get the license to be regulated. So just this is a very important thing to note because during that time, what I had to do was take the, the basically take the risk and start hiring the team, training them, finding the right members, um, and also build the platform. So one of the things that we failed at was creating the right platform in the beginning. And uh, the user journey was not very friendly because we realized maybe we're giving them too much information in the math side of things. Yeah. Maybe this is too complicated. Too confusing, complicated. Exactly. So we had to do it um, two, three times before we got to the mobile application with the right user journey. Yeah. So the good thing is that by the time we got the license and became officially operational, we just had to swap from the web-based platform to the mobile application and the number of users just shot up wow. because we noticed, you know what, this is exactly what they needed. So uh, the user journey is really friendly right now. Now, if, if you think about it, the traditional real estate investor kind of has to go through a lot to become yeah. an investor, right? So you already know that. What we want is for you to do the absolute minimum to become a real estate investor or owner. So this is what we have reflected on the mobile application. It's my, my baby. It's my blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> um, so, uh, of course, as we're, as we're going, we're growing, and we're, we're enhancing the user journey. But it's, it's a very seamless process compared to what we had in the past. Okay. So it was a good learning experience for us as well. well it's, it's a very exciting thing that now you can, because everyone wants a piece of Dubai's real estate now, especially yes. now. Since the market is booming, mm -hmm. Dubai has become a central focal point in the world, I would say, mm -hmm. and especially when it comes to real estate. And everybody wants to get in, but not everyone has the means yes. to get in with such a big amount. Or even if you do have the means, uh, you know, another exciting thing that we were discussing a little bit earlier is if I had a million dirhams, I could have two choices, either to invest it into mm -hmm. one piece of real estate or to come onto the Baytukum app and maybe invest in... 10 different. Exactly. 10% in 10 different properties. 10% in 10 different properties. Exactly. Have you seen a lot of, because I remember earlier you mentioned you had those uh, retail clients. Mm -hmm. and, and professional. Professional clients. So as per the regulators, there's two types. Okay. That, is the, that is decided by the regulators, not by okay. us. So we follow that strictly. So if I want to come onto the app and uh, how do you define me as a retail investor or a professional investor or do, you, or do I define myself? So here's the thing. When you're registering, this yeah. is part of the information that we're required to ask of you. Okay. So, you know, how much, um, let's say, how much is your net worth? Okay. Um, if you're telling me that your net worth is like less than 50,000 dirhams and then you want to invest a million, you'd be like, where's yeah, the course. money coming from? Right? So this is one of the things that we have, source of income, source of wealth, etc. So if you meet certain criteria, then we tell you. You know, you're eligible to be um, a professional investor and you don't have to stick to the limit yeah. that is uh, put on the retail investors, the beginners. So the retail investor has a limit of $50,000 per year, per calendar year. And the professional investor has no limit because they're expected to have experience and uh, a net worth that gives them this, okay. um, you know, freedom to invest however right. much they want. Okay. And uh, what are the limitations for a retail investor as compared to a professional investor? What are the differences once again? So the differences are a retail investor has a limit of $50,000 per year. And a professional can go. And a professional to. can go to up to however much they want. Okay. Are you seeing a lot of professional investors prefer crowdfunding instead of our traditional method of investing in real estate? Are you seeing a lot of professionals or are you seeing more retail clients? I'm definitely seeing more retail clients. Okay. I do have to say... 
maybe because we're new players in the market, the newest entrant, basically. Yeah. Uh, we still have to build our client base to reach the professional clients because usually they're used to the traditional approach and they go, you know what, I can just buy the whole thing on my own. Yeah, but why, then, why go on an app? Exactly. It's but a bit what do confusing. We, why should I download mm-hmm. something? So it takes time for the, for the rep to reach, basically. No but let's say you're a professional investor. What's the value proposition from Betacom? We do all the work on your behalf. Yeah. You get to diversify. You don't pay all the expenses. They're actually um, you know, shared between all the owners together. So if you own 50%, you'll pay more in expenses than someone who owns 10%, for example. Yeah. Right? So it's whatever is fair, obviously. But the opportunity or the, the value proposition is that you get to diversify with that same amount you're going to buy one property with. You can buy Mm-hmm. A bunch of properties. Exactly. Or a basket. Exactly. So in that investment. one portfolio with Betacom, you can own shares in so many, and it's all managed on your behalf. Correct. You just wait for the rental income, and that's it. I think it's a very exciting concept, and I think um, obviously, like all great concepts, it takes time to build that user base. Of course. But once you do have that, you know, sky's the limit because mm-hmm. you're going to have professionals coming in, and I think the more and more properties that you guys start to acquire onto the platform, yeah. it'll become uh, very exciting because we're seeing this model pick up in other parts of the world. Mm-hmm. You know, we haven't seen that much traction in Dubai just yeah. because I think there's so many regulations and like you said, there's yeah. only three players in this entire space. And like Dubai. I said, this this license to become a regulated financial entity took us two years. Yeah. You can just imagine. No, I mean, that's mm-hmm. that, that's really cool. And I Oh, think and by the way, as a professional investor, another thing I think that might interest people is that you can have fractional ownership in many properties. And if you hit the limit that is required to get a golden visa, then you also qualify through Betacom. Oh, really? You don't have to be a sole owner in that, yeah. Oh, wow. So if you invest the same amount in Mm -hmm. multiple properties, you can get a golden visa. Exactly. Well, that's exciting because a lot of people, I think the golden visa has been one of the main attractions in the last uh, Mm -hmm. couple of years for people to start investing in real estate market in Dubai. And, uh, you know, I think we had a very interesting discussion today, Latifa. Uh, it was very nice to have you, Thank very you so informative, much. very educational, and I think it's a great concept for young people to get on the real estate ladder, like mm-hmm. we say, you know, yeah. you should start early and you should at least have an eye out, you know, for real estate investments. And that's the only way you will build wealth long term. Exactly. You know, so thank you so much, Latifa, for thank coming. Thank you so much for having me. It was me. a pleasure having you over here. I really a enjoyed very this. insightful <laughs> conversation. And what I'm so proud of is that Latifa is a fellow <laughs> AUS alumni, <laughs> someone from my university, uh, you know, who's doing big things in Dubai real estate market. So guys, make sure you guys look out for Betacom. Download their app right now. Make sure to go on there, check it out. And of course, if you need anything, make sure to ask in the comment section below. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much. Thank you, Latifa.